Dry cleaners keep their customers looking good for those all-important business meetings, a much-anticipated social event, or family occasions. Solvents, together with detergents, are used in the dry cleaning process to dissolve and wash away unwanted substances on garments. The garments are then dried, pressed, and returned to the customer as if they had been newly purchased. Perk, short for perchloroethylene, is a popular solvent used in dry cleaning. However, its toxic nature poses a possible threat to both human health and our shared environment. And dry cleaners are beginning to look for more eco-friendly alternatives. Wet cleaning is a popular substitute, but does not always meet the guidelines on some garment labels. Increasingly, there is a third option. With the interest in eco-friendly solutions growing, less toxic solvents are becoming available. Detergents are then applied to these earth-friendly solvents and wet rinsing is used to remove stains and unwanted substances. Until recently, many of the traditional solvents had a low flash point temperature, the point at which a compound will ignite. Using solvents with a low flash point poses a significant fire hazard. Dry cleaning facilities using these solvents must maintain enhanced and expensive fire protection equipment, such as specialized sprinkler systems. Also, the use of alternative solvents requires more careful waste disposal than the wet cleaning process. While recognizing the potential drawbacks, the dry cleaning industry is increasingly choosing this third way. New products include hydrocarbons and green earth strategies, as well as solvents with higher, less dangerous flash points. The major benefits of these options are their reduced environmental and potential human health impact. Some of these new products have enough proven history to warrant their use under professional management, while others are still in the proof of concept stage, so their long-term impact is undetermined. However, more are being approved every year. What are the advantages of these alternatives? In the case of hydrocarbon-based dry cleaning, lower toxicity and lower inhalation exposure than PERT is a major advantage. Perhaps the most important to dry cleaning establishments, hydrocarbon-based dry cleaning has lower material and equipment costs than PERT and a track record of effective cleaning for most types of garments. What are the limitations of using hydrocarbon? Common hydrocarbon solvents contain hydrogen, H, and carbon, C. Supplied with sufficient oxygen, these solvents can ignite. Users need to be aware of treatment temperatures between a known lower and upper explosive limit, i.e. flash point. As a result, solvents have been created with higher temperature flash points and safer machines have been designed, a major advancement for the industry. There are additional disadvantages of hydrocarbon-based dry cleaning. Local fire codes may limit potential locations for hydrocarbon-based dry cleaning. Explosion-proof equipment is required Potential bacteria growth may cause garments to retain unpleasant odors. Because it has a longer drying process than PERC, business volume and throughput capacity is reduced. It is less effective in removing oil and grease stains. Finally, higher insurance premiums are likely due to the fire safety issues. Fortunately, there have been improvements in machine technology 
for this broad category of solvents, i.e. hydrocarbons and others. These new methods reduce the release of solvent vapors in dry-to-dry -dry machines by using an inert gas such as nitrogen or argon. Oxygen is displaced at a concentration low enough to prevent combustion, i.e. less than 8%. Additionally, they operate under a vacuum to remove oxygen, and they maintain an operating temperature below the lower explosive limit. In describing some of the optional solvents available, we should note that many systems, hydrocarbon and otherwise, are trademark protected. All appear to outperform PERT in terms of reduced environmental impact or limited to no human health threat. Dry cleaners have several options to consider. DF2000 is the most widely used hydrocarbon solvent, but a greater cycle time is required. It is recommended for use with high flashpoint solvent dry-to-dry -dry machinery. Regular draining of solvent storage tanks is necessary to control bacteria growth. Rhinex 3 is a Class 3A proprietary synthetic hydrocarbon solvent. It can be used in an existing hydrocarbon machine or one modified from its use of PERC. This solvent is biodegradable and is not considered hazardous waste or a carcinogen. It carries moisture without adding detergent and can remove most water-soluble stains with only the addition of water. Its relatively high flash point reduces the fire risk. Dry solve is a halogenated hydrocarbon solvent. It is non-flammable, but there are concerns about neurotoxicity over long-term exposure. It is neither an ozone-depleting substance nor a contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Its cleaning performance is said to match or exceed that of PERC. Solvent K4 is a relatively new halogen-free solvent, able to remove fats, greases, oils, as well as water-soluble soil. In Europe, it is described as non-hazardous and biodegradable. Benefits include good cleaning performance, reduced energy use for distillation and drying, and cost savings in disposing of waste and distillation residue. Green Earth is a silicone dry cleaning solvent based on the element of silicone rather than carbon. It is not a volatile organic compound, VOC, nor an ozone depleting substance. It does have a flash point, though one higher than for hydrocarbons. Liquid carbon dioxide functions by extracting CO2 from the air that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere, and so is environmentally neutral. Short cycle times and effective use for cleaning suede and leather allow for improved performance over conventional dry cleaning. It is still new in the industry with a higher cost for initial equipment purchase. Sites and tents is another option. In summary, the use of any solvent requires the dry cleaner to follow the guidelines and maintain standards. Regardless of which alternative solvent you use, you must continuously follow best practices as the solvent and detergents are only as good as the operator who is using them. Reducing environmental impact and eliminating human health hazards ensure that government regulations will remain manageable. Dry cleaners protecting people and the environment ensure that everyone wins. Clean clothes plus clean environment plus happy and healthy customers equal good business.